بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ عمر رب زدن علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین میکانکس ایم وان دی ٹاپک آف دس لیکچر اس ٹائپس آف فورسز فار دس لیکچر آئی ایم یوزنگ دی ورک آف ون آف مائی بیس سٹوڈنٹ مس شاری کا کلاس ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی دلائیسیم این امپورٹنٹ ایڈوائز فور می این فور ایوری ون وی شوڈ بی کائنڈ اینڈ وی شوڈ بی ہمبل فورس اٹ از اے کانسٹنٹ پش اور پل دی یونٹ آف فورس از نیوٹنس ٹائپس آف فورسز نمبر ون فریکشن اٹ از اے کانٹیکٹ فورس وچ آلویز ایکٹس اگینسٹ دی موشن اف دی آبجیکٹ از موونگ ڈاؤن دی سلوپ دین فریکشن ول ایکٹ اپ دی سلوپ سنس دس آبجیکٹ از موونگ آن رائٹ سائڈ therefore friction will act on left side since this ring is moving in upward direction therefore friction will act in downward direction this ring is moving up the rod therefore friction will act down the rod this is the formula of maximum or limiting friction in this formula this symbol mu means the coefficient of friction and its value depends on the nature of surface for rough surfaces the value of mu is large and for smooth surfaces the value of mu is small and this r means the normal contact force or normal reaction this is an example and with the help of this example we will uh, understand how to get the limiting friction well uh since this object is not moving perpendicular to ground therefore r is equal to w and they both will be equal to 50 because w is 50 therefore we can get the limiting friction with the help of this formula since mu is 0.6 and r is 50 therefore the limiting friction is 30 newtons this means this in order to move this object the applied force must be greater than 30 newton if the applied force is greater than limiting friction then the object will move and if the applied force is equal to limiting friction then the object will be in limiting equilibrium that means about to move and if the applied force is less than the maximum friction then the object will not move it will remain at rest since the applied force is 20 therefore this object will not move and the friction the magnitude of friction on this object will be 20 newtons and the limiting friction will be 30 newtons make sure you understand these two types of frictions this means the limiting friction and this means the reaction force of this applied this friction is the reaction force of this applied force therefore its magnitude must be 20 normal contact force or normal reaction it is denoted by r r always makes 90 with the surface in this case r is making 90 with the ground here r is making 90 with the slope and here r is the reaction of this component of weight w cos theta in this case r is the reaction of weight in this example r is the reaction of t cos theta which is the horizontal component of this t tension and r is making 90 degree with the rod the most important thing is r always makes 90 degree with the surface c r is making 90 with the ground r is making 90 with the slope r is making 90 with the rod weight weight always acts vertically downward therefore c weight is acting in this direction it always acts vertically downwards it makes 90 degree with the ground and the formula of weight is mg mass gravity let me write the formula of weight here
tension, the next force. If an object is hanged by an inextensible string, then the reaction force in this string is called tension. This force is tension, the reaction of weight. This is very important, the direction of tension. Tension always acts away from the point of resolving. Since you are resolving the forces at C, therefore tension will act away from C. When you will resolve forces at trolley, then tension will act away from trolley. This is one of the most important characteristic of tension. Make sure you understand this thing well. Tension always acts away from the point of resolving. When the point of resolving is C, then tension will act away from C. When the point of resolving is T, then tension will act away from T, the trolley. Uh, in this string, tension will be 40 newtons because tension is because of the hanging particle. And in one string, tension will remain same. So in this entire string, the tension will be 40. Given that the whole system is in equilibrium, find the tension. The tension in this system will be 40 because it is the reaction of this 40 Newton. And the reaction force on B will be 10 Newtons, C. This system is in equilibrium. This force is 40. This force is reaction of B and the weight of B is 50. Therefore, 40 plus RB equals to 50. Therefore, reaction will be 10. In, in, in one uh, string, in, one, in an inextensible string, three quantities remain same. Number one, tension. Number two, acceleration. Number two, three, speed. See, the speed is three, acceleration is two, tension is five. So tension is five, acceleration is two, and speed is three. Again, uh, you can see this tension is, I um, mean, tension always acts uh, uh, away from the point of resolving. The point of resolving is C. This is the point of resolving. Therefore, tension will act away from C. When the point of resolving is A, then tension will act away from A. This concept is extremely important while uh, resolving, I mean, while, when you do questions, resolving of forces involving tension because the direction of tension uh, disturbs the students. So just remember this rule. Tension always acts away from the point of resolving. When the point of resolving is C, tension will act away from C. When the point of resolving is A, tension will act away from A. Well, this is all. Uh, inshallah, I will discuss the resolving of forces in my next lecture. Uh, I discuss just types of forces because the types of forces are very important before, uh, I mean, solving, before understanding the resolving of forces. I hope this lecture will help you all to understand the types of forces. Inshallah, I will discuss the resolving of forces in my next lecture. An important advice for me and for everyone, we should be sincere to others. Allah Hafiz.